Okay, uh, when stepping on the outside of a level uh, orthodox, so that's when orthodox against another orthodox, what you want to concentrate on doing is stepping the left foot on the outside of the orthodox's left foot. And swiping the back foot round, so it's in a, in a position enough so that you can throw it far off your right hand. Yeah? Okay, you know, the, 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 right hand, the right foot is very vital to where you have it, yeah? So, for instance, if you had it not so far around and you threw it, you'd be off balance. Yeah, can you see that in your legs? Is? So it's like your foot, your right foot's got to be just diagonal, like how we showed you in the first part, to be off balance. Once you've got the first part of it right, what you want to do is with the person you're practicing with, is ask them to, to walk forward. And then you practice it with a moving target. Yeah? Again, getting the timing right is vital. Yeah? Because what you want to do, not want to do is get on the wrong time, see then I moved it too slow. My foot's caught up inside of his foot. So do it as much time as possible, getting it right. Okay, orthodox stepping on the outside of the south court. Basically, what we, what, what we prefer you to do, or what we always advise you to do when orthodox is against the south court, is to, is to predominantly move to your left side, to your south court's right side. Yeah? But if you do have to move to your right side, to your uh, south court's left side, what we suggest you do is you step very wide. So you step wide like this, keeping your eyes on your south paw, and then you swivel your back leg around like this, again, having your right foot in the right position so you can then fire off your right. Okay? What I've done with the person who I'm practicing with is I've told him to put his left rear out as a marker so I know how wide to step around. Okay? You know, there's a good indication to see how a wide I can step and it can show you the dangers of not being, not stepping wide enough. So here's me not stepping wide enough. See that? And my hand's down. So it shows you how vital it is to have your hand up and to step wide enough. It's almost as if you're stepping, you know, if you're bending down and stepping, you know, you're putting all the weight down to, to evade the shot, then coming up again and then firing off the shot. You see that there? Now, for the heart of it now. So what I'm going to ask my personal object I'm practicing with to do now is to walk forward and do the same thing. Go. Again, just getting the timing rush. Again, yeah? Of the moving. Thank you. 